Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm delighted to be here and acknowledge that Premier Ford's government demonstrated their recognition of the realities on the ground here in Windsor, Essex. For more than 100 days, residents in the city of Windsor have done their part. We've maintained our distance. We've shut down our businesses. We've stopped visiting our loved ones in long-term care. We even banned the use of monkey bars in municipal parks, all to slow the spread of COVID-19. Within the city of Windsor and a wide section of Essex County, the efforts that we have all taken have bent the curve and made sure that our local health care system was not overwhelmed this spring. In the next few days, the city of Windsor will be permitted to enter stage two, and some local businesses will be permitted to reopen while adhering to strict public health safety protocols. The province of Ontario has already published guidance documents for businesses to let them know exactly what they cannot do in stage two, and there are dozens of pages of information available uh, for everyone to view at ontario.ca slash COVID. Our local public health unit is also set to mandate face masks while in commercial establishments. Now let me be clear, the news today, while very welcomed for so many in Windsor, comes with an important responsibility. We need to follow the guidelines and recommendations of provincial and public health officials, and we also need to make sure that as we move to stage two, we don't increase the risk of community transmission. I'm confident that the dedication and compliance that so many in our community have shown over the course of the past few months will continue as we enter this next phase and begin our local economic recovery. At the same time, our neighbors in Leamington and Kingsville will remain in stage one. Two days ago, I sat in this chair and I told you that we rise and fall as a region, and that remains the case today. After the Premier's press conference this afternoon, I called Leamington's Mayor Hilda McDonald to let her know that I would continue to fight hard to make sure that farms in our region get the attention that they need from senior orders of government. Testing of the entire temporary foreign worker population is an important first step. Creating the spaces for isolation and recovery, just as the City of Windsor has already done, is the next step. The Province of Ontario's three-point plan is going to help chart that course and lays the foundation for Leamington and Kingsville to recover as well. So I'm going to continue to stand up on behalf of this region and help our partners in the county. Later today, I have a call with Ontario's Minister of Health, Christine Elliott. Tomorrow morning, I'll be speaking with Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland about necessary changes to the temporary foreign worker program and what the federal government should do to protect migrant workers. Thursday evening, Windsor City Council will convene and host my colleague Gary McNamara, Chair of the Board of the Windsor-Essex County Public Health Unit, as well as Dr. Wajid Ahmed to provide an update about our regional response to this ongoing public health crisis. On Friday morning, myself, David Moussier, Ross Moncourt from Erie Shores and representatives of the health unit will meet again with Canada's Minister of Health, Patty Haidu, as part of a working group to navigate the ongoing crisis within the migrant worker community. I've been impressed that some regional agricultural firms have come forward to request testing. And we need many, many more farm operators to step forward to get their workers tested as well. And for those who have tested positive, the City of Windsor has stepped forward to establish an isolation and recovery center to help those farm workers cope. The City of Windsor is going to continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with our neighbours in Leamington and Kingsville. And finally, I want to thank Premier Ford and the Ontario Government for their ongoing leadership in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Premier has called me multiple times today uh, in an effort to try and work through the very complex and very challenging situation that he and his government and the federal government face together. Frankly, that we all face, all governments in this county, across our country and our province are facing together.